So welcome to the video. Today you join me on a wet Friday afternoon as we sit on the Heron Quay taxi rank opposite JP Morgan. We're there about five minutes and a gentleman uh, opens the door, lets himself in and tells us he wants to go to Bishopsgate. Doesn't give us an exact address but we know a direction to head and I'm sure we'll come up with it on the way. So we leave by doing a U-turn on Heron Quay itself, heading back towards Heron Quay Circus where we leave by West Ferry Road, using the off slip to West Ferry Circus and leave that by West Ferry Road. We get a left into the Limehouse Link Tunnel where we remember the last few days traffic's been really heavy heading westbound on the highway towards Tower Bridge. So instead of going along the highway for the entire length, we decide to do a right onto Butcher Row. This means we'll get a left onto Commercial Road, known as a bus lane for the full length all the way up to Allgate, which should be relatively uh, traffic free and keep it moving. Now as we head towards Allgate along the commercial road, we notice traffic's extremely light in both directions. It must be a sign it's half term, could be a sign of a very, very quiet shift in the cab. Hang around to the end to find out. So as we do the left turn onto Whitechapel High Street, that will allow us to do the right turn onto St Botolph Street, follow the road round Duke's Place, forward Bevis Marks and then forward onto Camomile Street. This will allow us to do the right turn onto Bishop's Gate to set our customer down at their final destination. As we turn right from Camomile Street onto Bishop's Gate, we do notice it is now 19.03 in the evening, which means we can go through the bus gate here allowing us to set our customer down at their final destination, freeing the knowledge that we shouldn't get a ticket. So after dropping that customer off, we we'll take a little spin around the back of Liverpool Street and find ourselves on Chiswell Street. As you're coming to the Beach Street Tunnel, we see a couple walking on our left-hand side here. Out of camera, as you can't see, they put their hand up and hail me. There's nobody behind, so I can stop safely in the Beach Street Tunnel. So I tell the customers to jump in the cab. When it's cold and it's wet outside, I'm not really one for leaving them standing outside talking to, to me through the window. They've held me, they know they want a cab, get in and we'll get the wheels moving. So they tell me they want to go to Broadwick Street, Soho, lovely, gets me right into the thick of it. So we leave Beach Street by going forward into Long Lane. We'll go past the Smithfield Meat Market where we'll turn right onto East Poultry Avenue. This will allow us to do the left onto Charterhouse Street. So we're heading the correct direction, hopefully the most direct route. As we cross Farringdon Road and head up towards Holborn Circus, we do remember that High Holborn is closed from the Rosewood Hotel. Normally that's the most direct route, but in this time we decide to go via New Fetter Lane, Fetter Lane, and then turn right onto Fleet Street. We turn right onto Fleet Street, Traffic can be really heavy at the Aldwych, turning right onto Kingsway. So we do the very first right onto Chancery Lane. As we get to what was the old Knights Templar Weatherspoons, we do the left onto Carey Street, right Searle Street, and then we're in Lincoln's Infields. We go around Lincoln's Infields, leave by left Remnant Street, right onto Kingsway, and then we'll pick back up onto Higher Holborn. Hopefully no more than about a pound more on a metre than on a normal day if there was no traffic and the High Holborn was open. So as we go past the Oasis Leisure Centre here on the High Holborn, 
We'll go into Prince's Circus, leave by Shaftesbury Avenue. Then we'll come up to Cambridge Circus, where we've got Harry Potter on our right-hand side. Once the lights go green, we can go forward from Cambridge Circus into Shaftesbury Avenue. Go past Soho Fire Station on our left. Then we'll do the right after the McDonald's onto Great Windmill Street. This will allow us to go forward Lexington Street. When we get to the Sir John Snow pub, we can either do a left or a right onto Broadwick Street where we'll set our customers down. So as we come onto Regent Street after setting our last customers down, we notice there's only one taxi on the taxi rank at Hamleys. So we decide, decide to jump on it, give it a go. May not be much work in the street, so hopefully we won't be waiting too long. But they're only there a couple minutes and two gentlemen jump in the cab. They inform me they want Bond Street, or New Bond Street, should we say. It's only around the corner, but it is raining pretty heavy, so they jump in. They want Dior, which is at the bottom, just by Clifford Street. So we have to do the left onto Conduit Street, right Mill Street, that will get us left onto Maddox Street, we can go left onto New Bond Street, and then let them down on the right hand side, outside the Dior shop itself. So as we drop the customers off, we notice a couple of people walking towards us. Not really sure if it's a potential customer or not, so we start rolling forward with our light on. And lo and behold, a hand goes up, lovely, straight into another job. It's not much better in a taxi trade, but when you're getting in and out job, it's great. Nice lady comes up to the window. She wants Merchant Square, which is Paddington. It's just off Harrow Road, behind the Hilton Metropole. So as we leave New Bond Street, we'll do the left onto Clifford Street, we'll then turn left onto Savile Row, and then a left back onto Conduit Street, heading us west in the correct direction. So we decide to do the right turn onto St George Street, go past a brand new uh, rest rank, taxi rank in the middle of St George Street, around Hanover Square, leave by Harewood Place, and then it'll get us a forward onto Holly Street. As we go past John Lewis on our left hand side, and then comply Cavendish Square. We will have a quick look at the taxi rank uh, behind John Lewis. May give us a gauge of what's work like on the street. There's many cabs there or not. Who knows? We could be back 10, 20 minutes down the line. So as we leave Cavendish Square, we leave by going forward onto Henrietta Place. We'll do the right onto Marlebone Lane, where we go past Steinway Pianos, and then a left on to Wigmore Street. Get us a forward onto Portman Square and then a forward onto a Seymour Street. We'll get right onto Edgeway Road, left Harrow Road, left Harbet Road, and then we'll set our customer down on the right for Merchant Square.
So as we leave our last customer, we decide to go back round the Harrow Road, head towards Paddington, see if there's many cabs on the rank because we're only a minute or two drive away. We don't even get there before we get a hand on the Harrow Road at the bus stop itself. We do check our mirrors, check there isn't a bus behind. Every taxi driver in London's done it. Looking for a job, a hand goes up, you pull in, and there's a bus behind flashing and bibbing their own. Customer jumps and informs me she wants Sutherland Avenue, which is just off Harrow Road. Another nice, quick, easy job. Great to keep the wheels moving. So as we leave Harrow Road, we'll go around Harrow Road Circus, keeping an eye out for the revenue inspectors that are normally hiding behind the tree there, looking to catch motorists doing 23 mile an hour at 3 o'clock in the morning. As we go past Lord Hills Bridge, we'll just go forward onto Harrow Road, past the Shell Garage, and then we'll drop our customer off on the left-hand side at the bus stop. She can continue her journey. So after dropping our last customer off at Sutherland Avenue, we get an app request almost instantly from Alfred Road, which is literally road just behind us. We accept it knowing we've got a customer in the cab within a minute or two. It could be queues around at the uh, nearby taxi ranks. So we just take a quick app job, gets us back into central London, back into the work and hopefully uh, keeps money coming in our pocket. So we leave Alfred Road by doing a right onto Harrow Road We'll comply to Harrow Road Circus, leave by Harrow Road. As we come along uh, the Marlebone Road on our right hand side, we do notice traffic's tailing back a bit. It always tends to uh, during the daytime. So we decide to stay on the slip road, uh, head across Edgware Road, straight onto Marlebone Road, where we'll go forward past Baker Street. Then we can just get a right turn onto Park Crescent, right onto Portland Place, and then we'll set our customers down on the left just after Devonshire Street. Again, another quick, easy job. A little bit disappointing that it had to be an app job, but with the weather out there, you can understand customers not wanting to stand in the rain looking for a cab. We're happy. We're back in a bit, back in business. Money coming in our pocket. On a wet Friday afternoon, middle of kipper season, we can't really complain. So if we drop our customers off on Portland Place, we'll do the right and then the left onto Harley Street. Normally have a bit of luck on Harley Street, all the different clinics and centres around. And within a minute we've got a hand, customer jumps in and wants Euston Station. Again, another quick, easy job, straight onto a taxi rank at Euston. If it's busy we can pull off, but it's always good to get a job to a train station, knowing that you could be straight into another job within a minute or two. So we did a right sort of from Harley Street onto Duchess Street, a right Wimpole Street and then a forward up a Wimpole Street. This will allow us to do a right on to Marlebone Road. As we go past Great Portland Street here, we'll go forward onto Euston Road. We'd normally use the Euston underpass, however traffic's really heavy in the, on the weekday, especially this time of the day. So we bear left on the slip road, use the overpass instead. Get stuck at one set of traffic lights, but as they go green, we'll go straight over the Euston overpass, straight onto Euston Road where we can pick up the bus lane. That will allow us to get the first left onto Melton Street, and then the right into the Euston Station taxi rank. Now as we're pulling in, there are no taxis on the rank. Massive queue of customers, lovely, straight into another job. So as soon as we can get our customers out, we'll go straight round onto the rank, and pick up this nice customer who wants to go down to Victoria. Bit of a strange one really, I always question it when customers uh, get a cab at a train station to another train station, Euston and Victoria, both on the same train line. 
Would have been quicker maybe to have got the train. We can't complain, someone's winning to pay our bills. We take them there with a smile on our face. So as we pick up the customer, they inform us they want to park Plaza Victoria, which is an entrance on Vauxhall Bridge Road. Nice, quick, easy job. Just decide whether we're going to go all the way down the Marlebone Road to Baker Street, or whether we'll turn off before. Sometimes some of the other roads can be a little bit quicker. We leave the taxi rank by doing a left onto Melton Street, right onto Euston Road. And on this occasion, heading westbound, the underpass is clear. It's pretty much always clear, so we use the Euston underpass this time. Go forward Euston Road, and then we decide to do the left onto Great Portland Street. So as we come out of the Euston underpass onto Euston Road, we decide to do the left turn onto Great Portland Street. Now Great Portland Street always seems to run well. A couple traffic lights, but not much traffic. It's always a great road to get you from north to south. So as we come down Great Portland Street, we always used to do the right onto Little Portland Street. Unfortunately, we can't do that anymore, so we decide to do the right onto Riding House Street. We'll skip us one set of traffic lights, and as we come out past the All Souls Church on our right-hand side, we get the left onto Langham Place. Then we'll go forward onto Regent Street, across Oxford Circus onto Regent Street, that will allow us to get right onto Conduit Street, which we've already been to a couple times today. So from Conduit Street, we'll cross New Bond Street where we was earlier onto Bruton Street. We'll go past Hacker Sam Mayfair on our left and in the Jack Barkley showroom. We'll comply Barkley Square and we'll leave by Fitzmaurice Place, passing the Lansdowne Club on our right hand side. We'll follow it onto Curzon Street, we will do the left on to Bolton Street. As we dodge the traffic lights and turn right onto Piccadilly, we'll bear left on the slip road and we'll take the left onto Duke of Wellington Place. As we pass Constitution Hill, we'll take the next left onto Grosvenor Place, that will get us a left onto Lower Grosvenor Place, where we'll go forward Bressenden Place. We'll turn right onto Victoria Street, left onto Vauxhall Bridge Road. Again, it's another place where the revenue inspectors like to hide behind trees. There is a big green electrical box there, where uh, revenue inspectors do tend to hide catching motorists doing 22 mile an hour at 4 o'clock in the morning. From Vauxhall Bridge Road, instead of doing a U-turn and getting the front entrance, we decide to do the right onto Neat House Place. We then get the left onto Wilton Road, where we drop the customer off at the side of the Park Plaza Victoria, which was actually what they requested. So after leaving the Park Plaza Victoria, we'll do a quick U-turn on Wilton Road. As we go past the Apollo Theatre Victoria there, there are no taxis on the taxi rank, so we know we're straight round to Victoria Station on our left, where hopefully we're for a job. We'll wait a couple moments, get a customer jumps in, and they want number one Mayfair. It's a brand new hotel just being built on Barclay Street, and even though it's number one Mayfair, the customer laughs when the address is actually number three Barclay Street. It's another quick, nice, easy job. So once the taxi in front pulls away, we'll get a right turn onto what's known as the North Loop of Victoria Station. That will then let us get the left onto Wilton Road, a left onto Victoria Street, and then we can continue heading in the correct direction.
So as we go past Little Ben there, uh, we'll turn left onto Victoria Street. We've got Sir Simon Milton Square on our right hand side. As the lights go green, we'll go ahead into Grosvenor Gardens and then bear right onto Grosvenor Place as we pass the green taxi hut on our left hand side. So we use the bus lane to get us up ahead of the traffic onto Hyde Park Corner. We'll do the right onto Piccadilly. Hopefully there's not much traffic there. Then we can get the left onto Stratton Street, go past the Mayfair Hotel, turn right onto Barclay Street and then we'll set a customer down on the left hand side. So after dropping a customer off on Barclay Street, we do the right onto Mayfair Place. As we do the right onto Stratton Street, we get a hand straight away. Gentleman jumps in, wants to go to uh, Royal Hospital Road or just off it in Chelsea. So we leave from Stratton Street. It gives us a free will whether we want to turn right onto Barclay Street or go left Barclay Square and then use Bolton Street. As you come up to the top of Stratton Street here, traffic is looking heavy on the right, so we opt to take the left and then go via Barclay Square and Bolton Street. We was there a little while ago and traffic was clear and seemed to move well, so we think this would be the better option on this occasion. So as we turn left onto Barclay Street and we go past Sexy Fish on our right hand side, we'll bear left onto Barclay Square, first exit bear left Fitzmaurice Place, Use Curzon Street and then the first left onto Bolton Street. We'll again dodge the traffic light at the bottom as we turn right onto Piccadilly. At this point the customer does tell us he'd prefer us to use Piccadilly underpass. So as we come out the underpass we'll go over into the left hand lane so we can use Sloan Street. It'll get us down to Sloan Square. Where as we go around the square we'll leave by Chelsea Bridge Road. For those on the knowledge, you'll be aware that we'll always use uh, from Chelsea Bridge Road. We go right Turks Row, left Franklin's Row, and then a right Royal Hospital Road. This skips the traffic light between P uh, Pimlico Road and Chelsea Bridge Road, and it always moves well. There's never any issues there. So from Franklin's Row, we'll do the right onto Royal Hospital Road, and then we'll do the left onto Paradise Row. I do stop this one a little bit short, as I don't want to show the uh, customer getting out and going into their home address. So after dropping our customer off, we head back towards the King's Road, where we go up towards Sloan Square. As we approach Duke of York Square on our right hand side, there are no taxis on the rank. There is a customer waiting there. She is trying to hail me, so I'll just do a quick U-turn and pick her up. A bit cold this evening, so rather than talk through the window, I'll just tell her to get in the cab so we can start going. She's heading to the other side of Imperial Wharf, uh, the Wandsworth Bridge Road side. So we know as a taxi we can use the Chelsea Harbour uh, barrier. So we'll just go down the King's Road. We'll get a left eventually onto Millman Street and then the right onto Cheney Walk. Once we've done that, we know we're going to bear left onto Lots Road. 
Go past the Chelsea Harbour Hotel on Chelsea Harbour Drive. Use Harbour Avenue. As we go through the taxi barrier, Chelsea Harbour, we'll just wiggle through the side streets and then set a customer down at their final destination. So after dropping this customer off, we get an app request from, from nearby Sullivan Road. It's heading back to the Dining's restaurant on Walton Street. Uh, we know within a minute or two we'll have a customer on board and we'll head back uh, into a busier area. So we think, why not, let's take up the app job. So we'll leave Sullivan Road by turning right onto Peterborough Road, then left onto Carnworth Road. We'll just go forward Town Mead Road and then we'll go back through the barrier at Chelsea Harbour. Once we go through the barrier, we go up Chelsea Harbour Drive, we use Lots Road, and then left onto Tadamir Road. As we go ahead at the second set of traffic lights, we'll be able to do the right onto Fulham Road, and that'll set us up to our final destination.
So as we're dropping our customer off here at Dining's Restaurant on Walton Street, we do notice there's a few cabs coming in the opposite direction with their lights on. So rather than pull out and feel like we're going to nick a job off them, we decide to do a U-turn and head back the other way. It pays off instantly as we get a hand as we come further up Walton Street just past Jack's Caff. Customer jumps on board and wants to go to Kensington Road. Another nice, quick, easy job. So we leave Walton Street by Draco Avenue, get left onto Fulham Road and then a right onto Pelham Street. And then we'll bear right onto Furlow Square, left Furlow Place and then right Exhibition Road as we go past the museums. This will get us up to the traffic lights where we just do the left past the Albert Hall to set our customer down on the left hand side. Now tonight there is an event on at the Albert Hall so we don't use the slip road that's next to it. We just go straight up to Exhibition Road. It pays off. The lights stay green, so it seems to be the quickest journey this time. As we're approaching the drop-off to let a customer down, we get a nearby app request from Kensington Court going back down towards the old Brompton Road. At that time of the night, we can be a bit quiet, so rather than hang about, we decide to take it, keep a passenger on board, and keep the wheels turning. So as we go to drop our customer off here, I do stop the meter. Customer does inform me after stopping the meter that she wishes to go back to her original uh, pickup location. I oblige, but I have to obviously restart the meter. So rather than start from zero, I start from £3.80 with a flag full, and I just add on the previous meter reading onto the extras. Minus in the £3.80 flag full, as legally we can't charge that twice, and morally we shouldn't be doing that anyway. So we drop our customer off here and then decide to go back around Kensington Court towards the alcohol. It pays off instantly as we go around the corner, a hand goes up. Another customer jumps on board and wants Davis Street just by a Bacchanalia restaurant. So we leave by Kensington Court, get the left and then the right onto Kensington Road. And we decide just to follow it all the way ahead. So we go Kensington Road past the Albert Hall, forward Kensington Road onto Knightsbridge. And then we'll just use the Piccadilly underpass. This time in the evening it should be pretty clear, or at least for the next hour or so anyway. Once we come out the underpass, we'll just go through Mayfair, get us around Barclay Square and then Davis Street where we're going to set our customer down at a restaurant on the right hand side.
So after dropping a customer off here at Mr Nice, we drive around for a while without getting any fares, then we get a hand on Conduit Street from the doorman of Sketch. A couple jump on board and they want to head to Portobello Road. So we do a quick U-turn on Conduit Street, and then we decide it's probably going to be better to use Davies Street, Binney Street, and then get us ourselves out onto Oxford Street. So from Binney Street here, we'll just do the left onto Oxford Street. We'll go past Selfridges on our right hand side and then head towards the rich end of Oxford Street with Primark on our left as well. We're going to go left Park Lane, right Cumberland Gate and then get a left onto Bayswater Road. This will take us all the way down to Notting Hill Gate where we'll be able to do the right onto Pembridge Road and then left onto Portobello Road. So we drop the customers off here on the left of Portobello Road. We get a nearby app request, it's a taxi car job from St Charles Square heading to Bronsbury Road near Kilburn. So as we come up Chamberlain Road here, customer in the back has a little bit of a panic because in the daytime you're not allowed to turn right there onto Harvest Road. Fortunately in the evening, the no right turn uh, light is not on, so we are able to do the right onto Harvest Road and then go forward Bronsbury Road and then set our customer down on the left hand side. So after dropping our customer off here, we head back towards the Edgware Road, where our luck pays off straight away. As we get held from by a gentleman on our left hand side here, he wants to go to the Victoria Casino. It's on Harraby Street, it's another nice quick easy job, straight down Edgware Road, and then the left past the little Victoria Casino, onto Harraby Street, and then the casino will be on our left hand side.
So as we drop our customer off here on Harrowby Street, we get a message on one of the group chats that Wigmore Hall on Wigmore Street has burst. That time of the evening where I'm looking for a job east so I can head home. So we head to Wigmore Street, pick a couple up opposite Wigmore Hall, who inform me they want to go to Lambeth Palace and then further on down to Putney. It's the exact opposite direction to the way I want to go. But with a smile on my face, we pick them up and we get them on our way. So after picking them up and heading towards Lambeth Palace uh, by Lambeth Bridge, we just do a standard easy run. We get to Portman Square, do the left onto Orchard Street. We go past Marks and Spencers and go ahead onto North Audley Street. Get the right at Rocker Mayfair onto Green Street. At the top we'll do the left onto Park Lane. Go around High Park Corner and Duke of Wellington Place. And pick up Grosvenor Place. And then we'll get down Bressenden Place, left Victoria Street, and right onto Furlaby Street, wiggle ourselves around Vincent Square, get ourselves past the Iron Lung, and then over Lambeth Bridge where we can set our customers down. So as we set our customer down here on the left on Albert Embankment, for Putney we're just going to stay south of the river the whole way. Just going to get ourselves a head up to Vauxhall, go Nine Elms Lane, Battersea Park Road past the power station, and then it's pretty much a straight route all the way to Putney.
as soon as we get a left here onto Oak Hill Road, we're going to set our customers down on the right hand side. This moment in the video, I just want to say thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. It is my first video on YouTube and there will be more coming in the future. If you have liked it, please hit the like button. Comment if you are a cab driver. If you're not a cab driver and you're interested in doing the knowledge or if you're just interested in London itself, please let me know in the comments. I will do my best to reply to everyone that leaves a comment. I'd appreciate it as well if you could hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. See you next time.